Yeah. It suggests that Fellas Street Tasmania are ignoring the wishes of the community and are ignoring extremely valid community requests for maps and data which actually prove that 90% of the upper Florentine is not available for harvesting. Fellas Street Tasmania have failed to do this and this is what we are requesting them to do. You can see the response here. We're, we're very concerned that while Forestry Tasmania's bulldozers and chainsaws are ripping apart the upper Florentine, the best they can do to deal with public concerns is to completely ignore people and come out with claims of, uh, well, with no way for the general public to assess their veracity. And we're very concerned that this is completely indicative of the way Forestry Tasmania treats the Tasmanian public. And you still got protesters um, down in the forest, how are they going? Certainly, this morning, um, the gravelling operations were halted in the Upper Florentine as activists erected two giant monopoles at the site. Um, we've also seen big protests in London, England, as the British community visits the Australia's, Australia's high condition to demonstrate their concerns with this roading operation. So it looks like you're not going away anytime soon. We're, we're seeing it, an increase in, um, in people going out here up to Florentine and willing to put themselves on the line. And I don't think the state government or Forestry Tasmania are aware of how long this is going to go on for. It's looking like there's more people and more Tasmanians who are concerned about this situation. And so actions will be continuing in places like this and also in the upper Florentine for a long time to come. I believe that Sunday's action where 500 community members walked down that disgusting road sends an incredibly clear message to David Bartlett and the Tasmanian government that we are sick and tired of seeing our old growth forest logged, wood chipped and burnt. Uh, um, Steve Watting has come out and said there's 90% of the forest yeah. is protected and the forest said the same yesterday. Conservationists have been attempting to determine the veracity of this statement for several years now and have asked on many occasions for maps and other documentation to allow people to assess this figure and none has been That's a big part of what we're asking for today. If the best forestry Tasmania can do is repeat endlessly lines with no backup and no way to check their veracity, then it's a sad indictment on the way they treat Tasmanians and the general public. And I think the state government needs to have a very, very serious think about engaging with conservationists who have created rational measures like uh, like having a moratorium, but the state government has so far rejected this completely. And we'd like them to sit down, come to the table and talk rationally and sensibly with conservationists and the Tasmanian community to work out a solution to this situation. And in the short time, in the short term, we'd like to see an immediate end to logging and roading operations in the upper fine zone. That would avoid a lot of the situations that are occurring and make the Tasmanian public much happier. This is just a letter that we'd like to get forwarded to Mr Gordon. Um, we've requested that Forest Street Tasmania provide strong and clear evidence showing that 90% of the upper Florentine is unavailable for timber harvesting as over the last two years after repeating requests this hasn't been done yet. So there's a number of other requests for information, data and maps in there and um, as Forestry Tasmania has said that they will be opening up a new era of transparency, we would really appreciate it if these requests could be dealt with properly. Okay, thank you Maria. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have to wait and see. There are other channels that we can go through such as freedom of information, but I would hope that Forestry Tasmania would respect people enough and the Tasmanian community enough to answer these questions which are totally legitimate questions and need to be answered. But thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much.